look. Baby's heads. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a new day, a new dawn, a new vlog. It's really early in the morning right now, but I got notifications saying my dad was live streaming on Facebook. I watched it, this is currently a Saturday morning by the way, and he says, I'm going to Whitby on the live stream whilst he's driving along on his own. And I'm like, can I make it to Whitby with him? Might sound like the most random challenge of events, but nonetheless, I saw him driving on his own just saying he was like going off on an adventure. And I was like, thank God he said where he's going because if I, if he's driving a camper van, which he's in, uh, and I'm driving my car, surely I can catch up to him and surprise him in the destination that he's going, Whitby, um, of which, by the way, this entire destination and journey relies on him going to Whitby. If he changes destination on the way, he goes, yeah, Whitby sucks, I'm going to Scotland, we're fucked. But other than that, I'm hoping that I can catch up with him on the motorway to Whitby and surprise him. So, let's see how this goes. There was no way I was gonna catch up with Ken with only like a quarter of a tank, so I've topped up. 34 litres in the tank. I think that'll catch me up to Ken, if not make it to Whitby. We're good. £39.57 for the journey. I'm okay with that. I'm um, not gonna lie, the hunt for Ken was all fun and games until... I can't see shit! I feel like I'm on my pedal bike driving up the fucking hill looking for him. Like, this is awful. I've been mounted to the front of my fucking car and I'm dr I'm, I'm dr Fog rolling in J Jason Blundell! What the fuck is this?! I think I'm getting closer to Ken. I've been following the road and I found some Christmas lights. That means one thing, Ken must be close. There's a, I don't know what the hell that sign is. It's a, I don't know, jigsaw piece, a train track, a fishing hook and an eye sign. He must be that way. Problem I have now is trying to locate where my dad is. I've actually made it to the destination where I want to be, but I've now got to try and work out where the hell my dad is. So this is quite, look at it, it's quite a big place. So I now need to work out where a man in a camper van who loves sunsets would park. Oh, wait one sec. What the hell? What? This road just knocked me out of gear. This is how, this is how cobbly this road is. It knocked me out of goddamn gear. Ooh, the power of Facebook. I just checked his Facebook because he obviously live streamed whilst he was driving on the way here. He put his phone on the dashboard, but I just saw on his Facebook that he tagged, that he stopped because he was making a coffee in the picture but he tagged that it was in Whitby Harbour. Now that's the coast, that's Whitby Harbour. I went down the left side of the harbour, so I'm gonna go back down and drive down the right side of the harbour. I can't think of anywhere I could miss on the left or along the coast, oh, coast of the harbour. So I'm gonna go back down that way and try and find him. Okay, we are in a win, but a fail, because I've located several camper vans but I don't know which one's my dad's. I don't know his license plate. I know he's got a bike rack on the back, but I don't think that's his. I really, really don't think that's his. I think, I think, I don't know. I'm not 100% confident. I'm not 100% confident that might be him. That might just be him. This is him. This has to be him. There's no way it's not. There's no way this is not him. I think I can recognise the silver. If there's a hat on the windshield, it's him. Oh, um, this is him. This is him. I fucking, I've drove three hours off a whim to try and find him. And I found him. But the thing is, he might, I think he's like full on sleeping. So I don't want to wake him up. I could, he'd be pissed off as hell. <laughs> he's like, I've come here to escape. Um, so I might just sit in my car and sleep and then when he wakes up in the morning he might see me in the car, so Alright, I don't know. We'll see. Well, I might, I, I could ring him and be like, oi Look out your window and he'd see me, but I might just sleep in my car there So when he looks out the, mo the window in the morning, he'll see me there and be like, what the fuck? It's now going to become the how comfy is an Audi TT to sleep in challenge And I've got a really comfy jacket. Like, wait, I'm, I brought clothes with me. No joke, I actually brought clothes and like Stuff to brush my teeth with. I brought a towel <laughs> in case I go swimming. <laughs> Curtains, boxer shorts, shoes, syndicate original merch, toothpaste, and a spare hat for my dad. What I could do is I could leave that on his wind on his like wind mirror. He'd wake up in the morning like what the fuck, and then I'd just park next to him and we'd be set. Because he's been complained about he hasn't got a hat for ages. So, all right. Let's, oh, I tell you what, I can use that as a bed cover. In the off chance he wakes up and doesn't realise this is my car. 
I'm gonna park right next to him so when he wakes up he'll see it definitely oh man I managed to actually fall asleep it was about half four in the morning probably like an hour sleep and proper shit myself proper proper shit myself but my dad woke up um, and he saw me parked here I don't know how he noticed it was me. Oh, he noticed I put a syndicate hat on his front of his car. He thought it was a parking ticket. <laughs> but he's invited me in anyway, so I'm going to sleep. What was your reaction when I turned up on the first night, randomly out the blue? Oh. <laughs> Did you expect it? If it weren't for the hat, I wouldn't have known you'd have been there. <laughs> I, wouldn't have thought, I wouldn't have known you'd have been there. It was a good idea to put it on the windshield then. It was nice to see you though. Aww. <laughs> Get out of here, Ken, you, you, you big softy, you. you well, it's something different to wake up to rather than crows pecking at my window. Isn't that right, Dad? Ain't that right. This is where I am in the daytime. Looks a bit nicer and more interesting now, doesn't it? How the hell is that a harbour and how the hell do these boats get out? I, I'm pretty sure there's, there's tide rises for them to escape because otherwise I'm not seeing how this worked. But that was definitely a comfy and nice sleep in that thing. This was the, look at how many car parks there are. I drove around every car park looking for him and I found him. But look, that's what I, uh, that's what I was in last night, kicking back until my dad woke me up and let me in. All right, we're up, gonna get changed. Gonna put on a Syndicate Raw shirt. The, uh, the pleasure of owning a clothing line. I basically bring clean clothes with me everywhere. <laughs> I'm such like a homeless man right now. It's great. <laughs> Just shaving my bum beard and unbelie unbelow my chin. Gonna get some breakfast, uh, brush my teeth, and uh, adventure around with me with my dad, I think. We'll see what today offers. Am I doing a good job here? I'm using you as a mirror. <laughs> the only reason I drove three hours to get here is because I got your hat. Morning. And you were telling me you didn't have an hat. Now we've both got a hat. Take that off. The benefit of wearing hats. When your hair's a potato, you hide it like a ninja. Not exactly a full breakfast, Dad. But it'll do. Pick a good location. <laughs> a location where you lay your head and rest at night. He did pick a good location to be. Whitby Bridge. Beautiful. Look at him. Look at him cruising. <laughs> I like how he just buggered off to go on an adventure on his own. I was like, screw that. I'm joining him. Whoa. This is like proper, proper like British, like, I don't know. Look at that sweet, sweet shop. That's, oh, bird. Yes. This is well retro. What's this? Whitby Jet. Whit Whitby Jet. No, this is what it was famous for. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Oh, it's like graphite. Of course, I joined my dad and he's making me climb. That's nice, yeah. He's going to make me climb 199 steps to take me up to Whitby Abbey. Thanks, Dad. The, wait, the, the parish of St. Mary the Virgin of Whitby. And Umpty Dumpty's buried up there. Yeah, right. Umpty Dumpty is buried up there. What, right. did you have a great, is this where you had a great fall? Umpty Dumpty, I'll tell you the Damn. story. Damn! I'll tell you the story and it's not what you think it is. Uh oh. Umpty Dumpty yeah. was a cannon on a wall up there. What? And the reason he called it Umpty Dumpty, the reason it, it's up there, it was a cannon in, when they were at war. Yeah. Instead of, he was retreating. Yeah. And instead of leaving it behind so that it could get used against them, through it, they were dismantling it off the wall and it fell. Oh! So when it fell, it broke. Yeah. So when it broke, they buried it there, and that's where the story Humpty Dumpty comes together. I thought because they put it back together again, though. No, Humpty Dumpty. I've been lied to this entire Humpty time. Humpty Dumpty <laughs> couldn't put Humpty together again. Yeah. All the Queen's horses and all the Queen's men couldn't put Humpty, so Humpty Dumpty put together again. So buried in there. Oh. Damn, Kane, you ain't just a good-looking man. We found a smokery. Look at this. It's all like tar dripping off the walls. They've got ham curing in here. They just set a fire in the middle, and then they just have the fish. I think this is mackerel. Just chilling and fermenting. Whoa, there's loads. Whoa. Look at the wall. Is it sticky? Ooh. 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 Oh, now my finger smells. 140 years yeah, of never sappy clean, tar. Never, never, never touched. Oh, not come off. Oh, it's... Yeah. Ooh, not, not come off. Oh, it's yeah. stuck on your fingers now. Oh, it proper smells. Ooh. Um, what is going on here? W wizardry? I think there's a full-on... Yeah, we should go down to it. There's like a full-on... Either these are guys who are pretending to be wizards or something, or witches, something like that. But nonetheless, if you remember last night when I was saying I might stay at a hotel and when I stopped saying I was looking for my dad, that is where I was stood outside and I walked down to there. That's where I was all up yesterday, so... Ah, they're nice. We have no idea what's going on. No idea. Look at it. This place is beautiful. 
Yeah, this is what you have the, the wide-angle iPhone lens for. Wow! That looks like a dangerous cliff. Um, the closer I've got, the less I've understood. I think it's like a photo shoot of them all looking like devils and stuff. That's what I'm going for. I'm assuming that guy's like the local photographer from the newspaper. And then that or they're either filming a scene for like a, 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 a show, maybe? I like how that monster has babies in his back pocket, but okie dokie Jones. Not exactly what I expected to wake up to see today. I still really don't have any idea what's going on apart from one person with the beard in the red is walking around with a bag of candy saying, saying I'm the good guy and handed it out to children, so it makes lots of sense. And this is the grave of Humpty Dumpty, hence the shape. Also, we made it to the top, we climbed all 199 steps. My dad ran up every single one, so he's exhausted. I did one every three. <laughs> Knackered. <laughs> then we try to catch our breath back. It's this altitude we're at. <laughs> we can't handle it. Whoa, that's a lot of graves. And of course, me and my dad have found a microbrewery, which says shop open 11 till 5. Look at this. Homemade alcohol. We're going to go check it out. Jet Black, Smuggler's Gold, or Abbey Bond. And then this is where they make it. Yes. Very nice. There we go. We got a, a microbrewery drink down us. It was actually nice. Good if I had to start, if I, oh yeah. <laughs> Pressing the button in the bottom right corner to take a screenshot. It's a nice little brewery. I didn't film in there drinking. It was only a small little quaint thing, but um, I left my phone on charge in there, so I went from having 10% to 41. Oosh. So we're up here. We might as well go into the church hall. I think that's the abbey. This is the church. All right. We got my dad. Wow. Whoa. Is it a Christmas tree decoration contest? I think this is a, a tree contest. Whoa. That's a lot of trees. Holy snap. Oh, now this is my kind of tree. Gingerbread tree. Oh. Mary Antoinette's pat patisserie. I think that's how you say it. I actually can't believe how many trees are in here. Like, I love Christmas stuff, so it's easily got to be a hundred, right? Oh. What? I know I may have been impressed with that wooden one, but I found a toenail Christmas tree. No joke. Oh, fingernails. Fingernail Christmas tree. Yep. Yeah. Winner. Fingernail. Winner, winner, winner. winner. Fingernail. I'm not sure how, but I managed to make my way up here. <laughs> I was like, I need a better view of the trees. So I found the highest point I could find. <laughs> My dad is actually live streaming, by the way, on Facebook down there. So uh, he's just kicking back. Thinks he's a pro streamer now, eh? First he was a vlogger, then an Instagrammer, then a Twitterer. Now as a streamer. It's at this point, I don't think I'm supposed to be up here. <laughs> <laughs> I made it into the corner. Like there was no sign saying don't go this way. So I just kind of wandered. And now I'm, now I'm kind of lost. If you, ooh, if you don't see me again. I was kidnapped by this dog. <laughs> Help! Ho, 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 ho. Now this looks awesome. Does it work? The answer is no. You probably have to turn it on by pressing that button. But I don't want to do that. I'd rather not get in trouble. Thank you very much. Okay, at this point I'm definitely lost. I don't, oh, I don't know where I am. I don't know what's going on, but I found it really weird hidden carving. I feel like Indiana Jones. What can I find? A watering guy. Oh my gosh, look at all this chocolate. Oh, that is a lot of chocolate. There's a chocolate snowman. Damn, but to be honest, you can see why kids are trying to eat these kind of bath bombs. Look at them, that looks delicious. If that was food, I'd well eat that. I'd well eat that. I won't even be mad about it. Look at that one. What? Well, we found the bakery shop that it's attached to, and I'm having a gingerbread man and a cup of tea. Because we're British and that's kind of what we do. We eat pastries and shit. Last kind of thing I was expecting to see in Whitby. Um, crossbows, knives, swords, axes. Okay then. Okay. <coughs> this makes sense of seeing the monsters on the beach. They want to kill them. Oh, we found my lion, but they have pugs, squirrels, Doctor Who. Can't tell whether that's Medusa or something. Snakes, owls. Oh, yes. Harambe over here. 
Look at this. Wow. Wow, that is well good. What? I know, right? Whoa. Look at Hedge Yard. This is sick. Oh, a little adventure tunnel. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I'd love to have, like, live in an area like this. <coughs> Well, cool. Try that one again. Me and my dad all day, we've been wearing the same coat, the same hat, all right? Now, we're wearing different coats, no hats, but same t-shirts. <laughs> we're a fashionable pair, that's all I can say. You've picked a solid place to come. Whip is a good, good shout, good things to do, but this is a well nice restaurant. I thought it was gonna be like a sketchy bar from the outside, but... It's beautiful, this is well nice. And now he wants to share some muscles with me for starter. Oh, he's, he's trying to woo me. It's because he had no clothes and I had to give him my t-shirt. <laughs> you can't come to the seaside and not have muscles. And to be honest, I've had one. It's actually really good so far. Damn, son. Okay, listen, I went for scam because I'm at a seaside town and I got you for the steak. You chose for such a good decision. There you go. Okay, okay, I'm jealous. I want a bit of that. All right, I've finished. All of my scampi and my meal so far has been incredible. Incredible! Ignore the bad beard and moustache right now because we're going for a review. I'm going to give it a 9. We're going for a 9. And the reason why I couldn't give it any higher or any lower is because I couldn't decide on the chips. The chips were proper chips. They were really good. They weren't too crispy. They were soft but not too soft. And not too hot but not too cold. Which So they were warm. I know it doesn't make sense. But it was good. It was really really good i had a salad with it the really good dressing so damn good the um the scampi was like on its own as a 10. It was so flavorful dad sat here watching my day before on his phone my dad and mum are having watches of the vlog i love it i love it i love it oh my gosh it is cold either way uh finished food me and uh, kenneth look at him in his blue coat i have one of them i hop in now and um cheers to to this cheers it there you go, right. Well, that Tom, was the what worst. Makes your birthday? 23rd of June. Oh, I knew that. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, like six months Happy out, mate. Well, it's an advanced Correct. birthday. Can I just zoom into what I've just seen? Merry <laughs> fucking Christmas. There's a guy fucking a reindeer. Okay. What kind of place is this? <laughs> I don't quite know what he's doing, <laughs> but he's raving. Me and my dad were really confused as to what this machine was. <laughs> it's so bad. It's gonna cost us now. That we had to pay three pound fifty each to get a Jagerbomb cocktail. No, seven pound for you. Oh wait, what's going on? It's nothing. Here we go. Oh, it's filling the bottom with dry ice. Ooh. That's, oh, that's well worth three pound fifty. Really, really, you really can tell. You remember? The big I want this in my house. house. Yeah. That's whoa. Whoa, hey, hell. You back Are we supposed to pop the fucking? That was you know. Well, good. Yeah. Drink and then you put the uh, candy into your mouth. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Oh, missed it. Have you got any more sugar sweets left? Don't worry, this is popping candy and uh, a Yinga bomb shot. Thoughts? See you later, Tom. Yeah, you're gonna wake up. You're gonna wake up. You're gonna wake up three hours away from here. Hey, I'm gonna sleep well. <laughs> yeah. The Peggy shot pear, wasn't that bad. Peggy. The pop candy is oh, amazing. Peggy Sue, get these off Peggy you. Sue. That's my. Peggy, that's Peggy, my peg. Peggy, 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 Peggy oh, 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 I heard it go. Did you hear that? Oh, is it your tooth popping out? Oh my God, the candy popped. You nearly took out my tooth. Right, and on to the next one is passion fruit martinis. Cheers. Or maybe just maybe just passion martinis because there's no fruit. Yeah, passion martinis. Cheers. Solid. <laughs> I don't like that. Are we on your it's only wine as well. Your... Butterscotch martini. Thank you. Chin chin. Chin chin. Ping. Nice. Oh. <laughs> it's nice, it's very nice. Ooh, Ken. Suits you, sir. Cheers. Suits you. Oh. oh Peggy Sue. Oh, Peggy Sue. I refuse to entertain this child. I don't even know which bar we're in right now. I mean, like, next. Who's that? I need you to say hello to <coughs> Papa Anomaly. Anomaly. Papa Anomaly, it's his dad. Anomaly's dad is Papa Anomaly. Yo, Papa Anomaly. Hello, Papa Anomaly. 
And then say, it's your boy, Anomaly from Sweden. No, fucking hell, come no. on. Don't check the piss. No. You're checking the piss now. Oh, well, I'll be one sec. It's your boy. Check this out. No. Wait, no, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. check this out. It's your boy. Right. It's your boy, Anomaly from Sweden. Say, Yo, uh, Anomaly. It's your boy. It's your boy. Anomaly. Anomaly from Sweden. Sweden. Check this one. out. All in one. <laughs> I can only try in life. It's a pleasure having a lobster dinner. I don't know why I look so red right now because my nose is red. My rhinoceros nose is red. My forehead's red. I think I've had an allergic reaction to something. No, so I've got lobster. And here, with the homies, I'm going to throw you in a cheers to good health, to happiness, and two punches. And to us being confused as to who the hell is my dad talking to? <laughs> My dad's been over there for like 10, 15 minutes just having a conversation on his own and I'm like, I have no idea who he's talking to. No idea. I can't believe this is actually happening, but we're coming to the bar. We're still driving with these legends, but Ken happened to get speaking to some homies. Lewis, how does it take you this long? to walk in wearing a syndicate shirt. <laughs> hey, give me a fist bump. Thank you. Hey. I have 16% battery left. The band is finished. I don't know where we're going. We'll find out. Fluff. I need to be cold. We left the last place. We found ourselves in not not Harry's. We're walking with glass staircase. The most ginger beer man I've ever seen in my life. You're having a laugh? The most ginger beer. We've got here. No way. One of the best YouTubers ever, man. Seriously. Well, what's your name? Guy Bentley. Guy Bentley? Yeah. You're Absolutely. awesome, man. Legend! Legend! I just like a kebab and leave. Thank you. I appreciate it. Goodbye and adios. Cool. Next day, gonna win the vlog here. I've gotta get it uploaded because it's a 20 minute vlog and I've gotta try and upload it for 4G. So this is gonna take a long ass time. But nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. If you did, make sure you like creating for the fact that we actually managed to find my dad in bloody, where are we? Whitby. Just unreal. Absolutely unreal. And I wish I could have filmed when my dad, like, his initial reaction, because when you heard him talk about like what it was like seeing me, um, I have to film that today just so you had a, like, a bit of a gauge of it, because it just kind of looks like I went through all this effort to go and try and surprise him, and found him, and he didn't give a shit. Like he was, a, he was very surprised at the time. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap up today now. So thanks for watching. Much love to your faces, and I'll see you guys in my next vlog tomorrow, which should be at 6 p.m. UK time. Adios.